Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. I thought I'd film a video just outlining the vitamins and antioxidant supplements that Tim, my husband, has been taking in order to improve his sperm health. So just a bit of background, my husband Tim and I have been trying to have a baby for five years and we have done multiple IVF cycles, we've had six miscarriages, so we're in the recurrent miscarriage category. Um, we recently found out that Tim, his sperm analysis has always been normal and fine. We got it retested end of last year. We just did a regular sperm analysis, which again came back normal, but we also paid extra for the sperm DNA fragmentation test, which was about $500, and that came back with his sperm DNA integrity being poor. Obviously not the news we were hoping for, especially this far into our journey, but it explains our low embryo numbers making it to day five, um, low embryos making it to freeze, my failed transfers, my miscarriages possibly it's part of it's a puzzle piece in our very complex puzzle when i went to see my fertility specialist end of december she wasn't overly concerned about the dna fragmentation results coming back as poor she believes that sperm dna fragmentation results can improve and when i shared the news on instagram i realized that myself i realized that so many people out there have received poor DNA integrity results and um, with proper vitamins and antioxidants and change of lifestyle and habits um, they've been able to change those numbers so that's what we're hoping for in the next three months we're hoping to dramatically improve Tim's sperm integrity and try our fourth stimulated IVF cycle. We will then be using the embryos that we create in our next IVF cycle for surrogacy because of my recurrent miscarriages and the fact that my husband and I share a DQ alpha gene, which means my body is rejecting the embryos because they're too similar to self. It's called alloimmune implantation dysfunction. But anyway, that's a whole nother video. I'm not gonna get, get sidetracked, but basically I wanted to share with you the vitamins and supplements that my husband has been taking in order to help improve his sperm quality. My specialist seems to think that taking these supplements along with exercise, healthy eating, all of that stuff, um, the numbers should be able to change. So fingers crossed. Um, before I dive into the supplements, she also said not to ride bikes or take hot baths, have computers on your lap, and tight underwear is a no-no, loose boxes, um, all that stuff is, helps. Try not to stress, which has been very challenging given the last, you know, 12 months or so, so, um, yeah, I want to say how proud I am of Tim. He has completely cut out caffeine, alcohol, he is exercising, he is doing all the right things. He's cutting out sugary foods. Um, he's done amazingly. For those of you who aren't aware, we lost Tim's mum in March last year and it's just been completely devastating ever since and we found ourselves in a bit of a depression, just comfort eating and drinking in Tim's case and just getting into bad habits, not really caring anymore. You know, when you lose someone that's special to you, you just, it's hard, life is hard. So this year we're kind of, you know, having received these results, we're just really determined to make a difference and try to get back onto the healthy eating because we are pretty healthy eaters in general. Um, it's just life stresses have got us into bad habits. But that's why I'm so proud of Tim because he has totally cut out alcohol and caffeine and sugary sweets and he's doing really well. We're drinking celery juice every morning, um, which is great. And yeah, staying on top of these vitamins. So let me share them with you now. Okay, so the first one is Menovit. 
This tin's been taking on and off for years uh, since we've been trying really. It's a multivitamin designed for male fertility. Next up is Ubiquinol. Ubiquinol is the maximum strength and active form of CoQ10. As the active form Ubiquinol has a superior absorption than other forms of coenzyme Q10. Ubiquinol supports healthy energy synthesis and is a highly efficient antioxidant to combat oxidative stress. It's great for trying to reduce sperm DNA fragmentation. The next one is an all-in-one which is called Fertility Boost for Men and it is one my fertility specialist has created herself. The combination of these minerals help to support sperm motility, morphology and count. As I said, Tim's sperm, count, morphology, motility, all of those things came back normal, but um, can't hurt to be taking these things that are great for sperm health anyway, given his DNA integrity came back poor. So zinc is one of the minerals in this supplement. It is quite a high dose of zinc, 66 milligrams. Zinc is meant to increase sperm volume, sperm motility, and the percentage of normal sperm morphology. The next ingredient is selenium. I think I'm saying that right. There is 225 mcg in one capsule, which is quite a high dose, I believe. Selenium is a unique antioxidant which helps improve sperm motility and is also essential for sperm stem cells, to put it very simply. And the last thing in this supplement is folic acid. Now, this was the one thing that made me hesitant to give this to Tim because Tim has an MTHFR gene mutation, as do I, which means we are unable to absorb the synthetic form of folate, which is folic acid. Um, my specialist seems to think that there's no harm in still taking this supplement, even though there's a high dose of folic acid. The dose in this capsule, in one capsule, is five milligrams, which is quite high. Um, it just means his body won't absorb it. Instead, he's taking folinic acid, um, which is bioactivated B9. I am also taking that. So he's taking both. I was trying to find a way for him not to use this and to take zinc separately, selenium separately and folinic acid separately. Uh, but it was really hard to find a product that had the high, a high dose of zinc and selenium that's in this. An equivalent. I couldn't find it. So um, we just stuck with this, doing some things to detox, um, get rid of toxins. So hopefully that'll help with the taking the high dose of folic acid and the MTHFR gene mutation, hopefully. So the folinic acid is the natural form of folic acid. It helps support DNA replication, which is why it's great for sperm health. Next up is vitamin E. It's not vitamin C, it's vitamin E. Vitamin E is also a natural antioxidant and along with the other antioxidants it helps improve sperm quality and oxidative stress so it protects the sperm against damage as well as bad cholesterols. Next up is vitamin C. Vitamin C is an antioxidant and helps improve fertility, especially motility and count when it comes to sperm health. Omega-3 fish oil. The omega-3 helps reduce inflammation and also thins the blood, allowing blood to flow easily to the genitals, which leads to better sperm production. It of course also helps to support heart and cardiovascular health. So yeah, that's everything Tim is taking to help lower his sperm DNA fragmentation results. Uh, we are praying it is going to work. We will probably retest um, in end of March, probably. And if all looks good, we will then proceed with our fourth stimulated IVF cycle. This video has gotten pretty long, so I might film a separate video on what I'm taking to help improve egg quality. I'm not a doctor, my knowledge is limited. I am just going off what we've been told. My research, I hope this video is helpful in some way. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye guys. I'm reaching up for you, higher and higher.